Tesla has put electric cars on the map almost a decade ago, but could never convince the general public that EVs are more than fancy rich people's toys. But now it looks like Ford may take Tesla's cost to the holy land of the mass acceptance even from the biggest EV non-believers with their all-electric F-150 Lightning deliveries starting now. And I'll tell you how they may just pull it off coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric. If you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, well, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. The biggest deal in the electric car world last year was the unveiling of the all-electric version of the F-150 and now it is here. The production of its first units are on the way and the first deliveries are starting any day now. And I can easily argue that the launch of the F-150 Lightning this month will most likely not just be the biggest deal in the electric car world this year, but the biggest deal in the entire automotive world in the last decade since Tesla's launch of the Model S. Now, don't get me wrong, things can still go sour for Ford, but we'll talk about it in a few minutes. But if things do go right, and the smart money is on that, since they have successfully launched the Mustang Mach-E, this could be that one thing that we needed here in the United States to start making electric vehicles accepted by the general public. Where people won't say an electric car and will just say car. Which I guess will mean that I'll have to change the name of my channel. I'm thinking E for essentially all cars are electric now, so there's nothing for me to do here anymore. Goodbye. Catchy. But let's be real. Even now, in 2022, unless you're standing in the middle of Palo Alto, California, the electric cars are not that common. And even if you are standing in the middle of Palo Alto, California, uh, which probably means you're waiting in a two-hour line to pick up your Jasmine bubble tea, the electric cars there are still a minority by far. But Americans love their trucks and especially the most popular of them all, the F-150. And a lot of the anti-EV rhetoric usually comes from that side. And the rest is from the CEO of Toyota. But now that Ford said that an electric F-150 is a thing, it's priced pretty competitively and it looks, smells and drives just like their current trucks. Well, maybe not smells. I mean, it doesn't smell like lung cancer. All of a sudden, the very people who would never consider an electric vehicle because they still believe that it either looks like this or has a price tag like this are now very much ready to accept that the future is electric. Now, just in case if you haven't heard, there are already two all-electric trucks on the market. And as far as I'm concerned, both of them are way better than the Lightning. One is the Rivian R1T and another one is the GM's Hummer EV. But they're very expensive and are essentially considered by general public rich people's toys, which they absolutely are. And by the way, Ford is actually going to over deliver. They just announced that they will give the truck more horsepower with up to 580, more payload capacity of up to 2,235 pounds and more range of up to 320 EPA miles than originally promised. Under promising and over delivering. Wow. I mean, if you can't do that, then well, then you just distract everybody by buying a social media platform. Problem solved. But let's talk about one really big advantage that the electric F-150 will have over its gas-powered version, but also a really big disadvantage as well. I'll tell you about both of them in just a second, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Driven. Finally, there's a company that's taking the training of Tesla drivers seriously. If you're shopping for a Tesla or currently already own one, sign up for a private Driven course and let a certified advisor meet up with you and provide a personal experience. You will discover features and driving methods you never knew existed. Sign up today using the link in the description of this video. So let me tell you about two things that will either make it or break it for Ford in a bid to make the electric cars mainstream. 
Let's start with the positive. The first and honorable mention, and it goes to the Franc, something that Ford is really proud of since it's the biggest one in the world. Oh my God, Becky, look at that Franc. What? I like big francs uh, and I cannot lie. Now, they literally just put out not one, not two, but three videos about it, though mainly not so much about its size, but how much stuff you can plug into the outlets inside of it. But now onto a big one. The F-150 Lightning has something huge that its gas-powered brother doesn't and can't have and it's the ability to power their owner's homes. That's right, the F-150 Lightning will have an option to power your home with its huge battery. As a matter of fact, it would take up to 10 of Tesla's power walls to provide the same energy. But there is a caveat. It will cost you anywhere from five to $10,000 to buy the necessary equipment and pay for its installation, so, it's not free. However, there is a hack where you can simply plug a transfer switch into the truck's outlet, which will only set you back a few hundred dollars and achieve very similar results. And you can power all kinds of other things and appliances with like a million outlets that are built into the truck. Either a fridge at a camping trip or your power tools at the construction site or apparently ink some prison tattoos into a car seat. Now, I don't know what that car seat has done, but uh, when it's out on parole, I hope it can adjust. Can you, can you believe I do this for a living? <laughs> I can't. You can even power, get this. Um, actually, let me let Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, tell you about this one. You can even charge other EVs for your friends that own Teslas. <laughs> that wasn't fair, was it? But so what? So what? So what are you gonna do when your Twitter account gets canceled, buddy? I don't think Elon Musk appreciates this type of a, you know, free speech. So yes, this is a huge advantage of the Lightning, but there is a bit of a problem with something that for some reason is like the most important thing when it comes to EVs, yet somehow pretty much all EV journalists have happened to overlook and that's the range. Now, there are two options here. One that you can actually get for the $40,000 starting price, which is 230 miles of the EPA range. And the second one is 320 miles of the EPA range, but that will be priced at almost double of the first option. Now, if this was a regular passenger car, it would actually be pretty decent. But correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm no expert here, but isn't that box looking thing on the back and another one sticking out of it uh, for hauling stuff, right? As a matter of fact, that's what makes it a truck rather than the SUV. Well, so here's the thing. If you use the truck as a truck, and you haul stuff, the weight and the wind resistance can easily cut the range in half. And if you are going to haul stuff in your truck's bed or behind the truck, like a helicopter, which for some reason is in the Ford's press video, you're probably going somewhere far and is 115 to 160 mile range really enough? So you will need to charge. And if you do find a fast charging station, which are not very common in the areas where you camp, the charging speed is anything but lightning. It peaks at 150 kilowatts and Ford estimates that charging from 15 to 80 percent will take over 40 minutes. Though the good news is that now you have time to fly your helicopter to your destination to see who's now taking your camping spot. Oh, and by the way, when you haul stuff, it is a huge pain in the butt to charge because most of the time you have to unhook the trailer from the truck to fit it into a charging stall and then, of course, hook it back up. And here's the thing, Ford only has about a year or so until GM gets their stuff together and releases their all-electric Silverado with 400 miles of range, more horsepower, more than double max charging speed, also the ability to power your home, but 
with the same starting price and unlike the Lightning, built on a dedicated electric platform. The electric Silverado already has more than 140,000 reservations, where Ford has decided to stop taking their reservations for the Lightning once it crossed 200,000, because I'm assuming it hurts the feelings of the gas-powered version of the truck. So, will the electric F-150 be the beginning of the end of gas vehicles here in the United States? Well, let me know in the comment section. Of course, after you comment on my shirt, my hair, and my accent, but I'm looking forward to all of them. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged. Take it